Okay. So Costex is a universal application ranging from hand-drawn sketches, PDFs, 2D and 3D CAD files, and BIM models. So we can support all these different types from what we call um, dumb images to high-level 3D BIM models, and we can um, either measure from them to create dimensions or extract quantities from a BIM model. So we can our on-screen measurement uh, module a live link with our workbooks and we have revisioning capability and BIM data extraction as well. So last month's, month's webinar was working with layers and um, how it works. It was showing how to navigate the layers and how they're available in different types of drawings. So if you want to view this webinar you can um, go onto the website and check there. Okay, so Costex can um, support a huge range of, of drawing file types um, from BMP, JPEG, raster PDF, 2D CAD drawings, um, 3D PDF, SKP, and 12D. Um, we'll go into a bit more detail about um, what these different types of drawing file types are and how to get the best out of them. Um, the scanned images. Um, such as BM, um, BMPs and JPEGs, um, they'll have the least intelligence and work with, with what we call point mode. And as the intelligence increases with, with PDFs and DWGs, we're able to use line mode. And then above that, we've got the BIM, where we can use object mode and run BIM import templates. So in terms of drawing file compatibility, the scanned images include um, BMP, which is a bitmap images, GIF, graphics interchange format, uh, JPEG, joint photographic export group, PNG, port portable network graphics, and TIF files, which are um, tagged image format. Um, raster files, if you don't know already, raster files um, mean a 2D image that is uh, basically scanned and, or uh, pixelated even as well. So a raster PDF w uh, won't be able to be used in line mode. It will um, just, is that, is that a question? So in a raster PDF, it won't be used in line mode. Um, it will be used in point mode. So vector PDFs, because a vector PDF will contain vector lines which which we can use that intelligence to uh, measure from the drawing. In terms of 2D CAD, so if you don't know what CAD stands for, it's computer aided design and there's a number of um, formats in 2D CAD. Um, you can utilize features such as um, layers, multiple block counts, and also polylines in 2D CAD drawings. So the ones that Costex support are um, DXF, drawing exchange format, DWG, which is um, sort of drawing, and, and DGN, which is a Bentley's way of saying design. We also accept um, 3D PDF. So um, that you can extract quantities from a 3D PDF as well. In terms of BIM, um, building information modeling, um, there's a few, but what is preferred on Costex is a DWF. So if I can refer you to our drawing file optimization document, what this document um, would advise you to do is send this to an architect or a designer or any kind of in-house designer and they'll be able to optimize the way they export the drawing so that you can add it into Costex and measure from it um, efficiently. So in terms of 2D CAD files, this is how you would obtain uh, polylines and layers if it's been exported correctly in, 
in its design package. In terms of in terms of uh, 3D drawing files, chapter eight outlines um, 3D DWF and DWFX files from Revit and how to export them. Also, IFC files, IFC files from Revit and IFC files from Archicad. Okay, so uh, we just use a, a few BIM terms there. So BIM, obviously, um, building information modeling. Um, they're looking to change the name to Building Information Management, I heard. But um, anyway, um, then so we've got a DWF, which is a design web format. So this is a compressed um, light version that file format that you can export a native Revit file or any type of design file format to. So when we add a DWF into Costex, it's makes it easy for us to navigate it and it also makes it easy for us to extract quantities and it keeps all the data which is the most important thing, it keeps all of the quantities inside the model which is important. So this is why we use design web format, DWF, a DWFX as well. So IFC files as well, these are industry foundation classes, this is like a universal format that um, well, the government are trying to, to push forward so that um, it ensures collaboration and so on. Um, we can actually support IFC files as well, um, as long as there's the base quantities and, and there's um, gross quantities in it, we're able to um, get dimensions out from it. So at the bottom here it says, about our drawing for optimis optimization document. This is a really important document. I'm just going to refer you to it again. Okay. So this is actually available to you in this location. So in your installation path, you can see Costex drawing file optimization, so it's available to you, along with these other documents. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, show a preloaded Costex demo of the 2D file types and then the and then the BIM files. Okay, so you can see I've organized them by name. So in this folder we have raster. So Rastar 2D scanned pixelated images. And this is a this is a JPEG. So you can see as I zoom into the door, I can't see the dimension because it's pixelated. This is because it's a JPEG Rastar. I would only be able to use point mode in this in this in this particular type of drawing type. Like that. I'm not going to measure it, I'm just going to stay on um, drawing file types for the moment. Then we're going to move on to an another type of raster, but this is an actual this is actually a PDF raster. So again, we would only be able to use this in point mode. Okay, so that's raster images. So vector images and vector drawings, they contain vector graphics. So this it enables us to measure from it using line mode and make use of um, things like um, the intelligent lines, as you can see, as I hover over the, the, the drawing. 
and in DWG's more high-level vector, vector graphics such as uh, polylines and blocks. So in a vector, Costex actually reads um, vector PDFs if um, it hasn't been exported by layers um, from the design package as as lines, you can see here colored lines. So if it hasn't been um, outlined in the export that we want layers by the designer, Costex will create um, layers based on the color of the lines, which is helpful in a PDF, especially when you have this pesky grid at the back. So we click the grid and then now measure from it a bit more easily. Okay. So a DWG, a drawing. So this is exported straight out of, out of AutoCAD. Um, also, PDFs are normally the um, they've normally been saved from a DWG. So th this is why we would prefer a, uh, we would prefer a, a DWG because we can we can utilize the layers for sure. We can um, create multiple block counts and then use the polylines as well. So, if you can, we would advise that um, you try to obtain the DWG version of the drawing that you're working with. So, DWG stands for drawing. If you can. Okay. Okay, so now moving on to BIM, Building Information Modeling. Um, we accept um, not just um, DWFs and DWFX and IFCs. Um, we also support SketchUp files and 12D. So Google SketchUp and um, 12D. So if you're um, not familiar with 12D, um, it's, it's civil engineering. Okay. So you can see with a DWF, I'm able to just navigate the drawing quickly because it's a compressed version of the native Revit file format. Costex can't can't support um, Revit files, so RVT files. Won't be able to add it um, straight into Costex. You would need to export it from from Revit. It's actually a simple process, and it is also it's outlined in our drawing file optimization. Okay. So what's important is that when we right click an object, it gives us dimensions and that's what we're interested in as quantity surveyors. So that's what DWF do, they retain the information in the model. Okay, so this is an, an IFC model. Again, this is a um, this is what the government are seeking to be a universal file format that all designers and all parties of a construction project can collaborate using one uh, file format. This is what an IFC is. So what you'll notice as well is just um, is that we do get dimensions from it, so you can see PS set Revit dimensions, which is important. So that's basically a run through of the different types of file formats that Costa can support. We can support more than what's shown just here. So the, the, the DGN's DXF um, SKP and 12D. Okay, so um, it's completely versatile. Um, 
the compatibility of the, the drawing types. Um, the higher the level of intelligence in the drawing, the easier it is to work with it, with it in cosmetics. So with a raster image that's really, really pixelated and you're working with it in, in point mode, it's more likely to be um, in, inaccurate. Well, not inaccurate, but um, because you're using just overlaying from a raster image, it's not going to be as accurate as a vector, a vector graphics uh, drawing, such as a DWG or a, or a PDF. Obviously, the most high-level intelligence would be a BIM model, where the volume and the areas are prescribed, and um, we can extract those quantities out. So we would also advise that um, designers and architects be sent our drawing file optimization document to ensure uh, best practice. Okay, um, thanks for watching um, the webinar on on drawing file compatibility. Um, you can contact me or the team at any time at support at exactor.com or you can call us on um, plus four four two zero three five nine seven seven five six six. Um, if you want a copy of the, the drawing file optimization, um, you can contact marketing at exactor.com or you can um, if you have Costex already installed you can use um, the one in the installation file. To review this recording, you can go to www.exactl.com forward slash webinars. Thanks for listening. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Speak soon. Thank you.